Good morning, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. 11.05 a.m. Mountain Time, October 21st, 2017. <clears throat> what you're looking at while you slept, there was an M1.11 solar flare that shot off of the flank of the sun. Now, this sunspot region is now designated as 2682. <clears throat> turning into the view on the southern limb. This is the same region that was previously numbered 2673. That was the sunspot area that gave us those X flares back in September. That is the flare, and I will run through it on Soho for you in both views. This is C2 Lasco. This is from the movie viewer. This is the event. If you look at it, there's a huge coronal mass ejection. You can see the amount of material here. This is over a 12-hour period shooting out in the space. It is not a halo. This energy is going south and left, as well as north and left. Probably very little energy at all coming forward. This is from the backside. Same event, huge CME. Look at this material. Now, why is this important? It's only an M1. Well, because as, as our magnetosphere weakens, these events are going to become more and more geo-effective. Meaning, if this was shot out seven days from now and was directly Earth-facing, this could be bad news for the grid. It certainly would be bad news for uh, global systems, and we know that. And as the magnetosphere continues to wane, the threats of a global calamity because of geo, because of sun's act, the sun's X flare activity, is going to be uh, more and more pronounced. Here's a picture in 131 angstroms of the flare. Nice X signature there. Typical bright X-ray flare. This is an M1. If we come to see what uh, Suspicious says, he says solar flares have returned as the incoming active region releases an M event. The sunspot is coming in towards center disk and could erupt again in the coming days. The solar wind is calm and expected to intensify much this weekend. So we're waiting for a solar wind stream to come. So this is probably the change in phi angle here. Could be the solar wind stream reaching us. That's solar, but the bigger hole won't reach us probably until Sunday. The magnetogram is smooth. There is no... The K index is uh, calm. And we're in electron flux. We were, we just came out of uh, a radiation storm. We may go back into that if this solar wind hits us again. So there was an M.1, 1.1, that blew off of the sun. It is not Earth directed, but this region that produced this flare is 2673, the X flare producing region. And if we come down here, I can show you these spots. Thanks, you're welcome. So 2682 is the spot. It's just turning off the limb here. And 2683, these are two huge spots that may interact. We're going to be watching this. This could be a huge X flare producer in the next week. Right now, there is very low probability. So if we go to the actual report here from NOAA. Solar activity reached moderate levels today after newly numbered region 2685 produced an M1 flare. Associated with this event was a type 2 radio sweep and a CME signature observed in Soho Lasco C2 imagery beginning at 21 Dash zero UTC. Preliminary analysis suggests no Earth-directed component was present. That's what we just determined. There was no halo, minor if any. Solar activity is expected to be at very low levels with a chance for C-class flares and a slight chance for M over the next three days. This may increase. We're going to watch it. We're going to see if there's any magnetic mixing, and we are going to be on these spots. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. It's going to be an incredible uh, week as far as the sun is concerned. We're going to be watching it closely. Stay tuned for updates. 
Be safe.